This is a rusted iron, and by using the electrolysis method, we can de-rust this metal easily. Hey there guys, I am Ben Strollis, and you'll come back to Blinksight. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button so that you'll be notified if there's an upcoming video. So let's get started. Welcome to Blinksight! So guys, uh, all you need is a plastic container that occupies the metal that you want to de-rust. So we fill that up with water and we mix it with washing soda. So uh, if, you do not, if you don't have a washing soda for the project, you, you can always go with uh, baking soda. That works just fine. And so guys, for the project we're going to need a uh, power supply. This is a 24 volt and 15 amp power supply. If you don't have one of these, uh, you can always go with a 12 volt lead acid battery. So uh, this is what we're going to use for the project. So next uh, we're going to need an aluminum plate, uh, which is going to be the, the cathode uh, terminal for the project. And I'm just going to hook up the uh, negative wire to the aluminum plate. And then you dip that into the container. So now we connect the positive terminal of the power supply to the metal that we want to de-rust. We dip it in and we pour in the whole mixture of the washing soda into the main container. And so guys, I turn the power supply and as you can see, the water slowly changes its color, which means that the de-rusting process has begun. And so guys, you can leave this for a day, uh, depending on uh, the, the, the metal, the thickness of the metal you want to de-rust. Uh, but as for, for this simple project, I, I leave this for uh, uh, 32 minutes and then I came back to this. Some weird substance had formed at the top of the container. And so guys, if you have any questions, uh, you can always comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And so guys, as you can see, it wiped out the whole rust that was at the surface of the metal. And guys, uh, to finish up the process, uh, you're going to need to heat up the metal around uh, 200 degrees to wipe out all that uh, chemical that was formed. So uh, that's the end of the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your comments and like the video if you wish to. So see you guys in the next video.